Hi, my name is Ryan Israel. I'm a tech lead with Juniper Network's certification program. In this learning bite, we will show you how to use BGP well-known communities. So what are BGP well-known communities? They're covered under RFC 1997, which is a BGP community um, attribute RFC. They are um, BGP community attribute values that the operation of these communities are known and understood by BGP speakers. So, which means that um, if a route is received by a BGP speaker with one of these communities, it knows what action to take with that route. And um, which is unlike if you create your own communities and apply them to routes. If a uh, BGP speaking device receives these routes, um, it's not going to know what to do with these communities unless you um, apply these communities on other BGP speakers and um, take some action um, against those communities. Um, that's also why this is you know something that you may want to use if you have any routes um, that fall within um, these actions or, or operations. Um, they're already there for you and it's you know it's less configuration and um, the device already knows what to do if, if it sees these communities. So these are the uh, the well-known uh, community values. Um, I put the uh, the uh, actual no advertise, no export, and no export sub confederation in a different font because that's the actual um, syntax that you would uh, type in on the device to uh, configure it. Um, it's not it's not there for you. Can't do a um, um, a question mark to see these. So you'll have to know that that's the actual value. Um, but anyway, uh, the first one is no advertise. And routes in this community must not be advertised to other BGP peers. So this means that if you receive a route um, from a uh, uh, from another uh, peer, if they they're exporting a route with this community, um, and you receive a, a, a route with no advertise, you'll know the BGP speaker or that device will know that um, it's not to advertise this route to any of its BGP peers, and that includes eBGP or iBGP peers. Um, the next is no export. So, if um, if you receive a route, or you know, vice versa, if you export um, no export into um, or to a route, uh, that neighbor will receive this route with no export, and it knows not to advertise it to any neighboring ASs. So, if it has any EBG peers that's in another AS, um, it will know not to export to that a uh, to that neighbor, but it will advertise it internally. And um, if if you apply no export uh, subconfederation, uh, that route will stay uh, within the subconfederation. So if you have um, if you have uh, peers within other subconfederations, um, that route will not be exported. So here's the uh, the topology for the uh, example we're going to uh, be showing you. Um, AS sixty five zero zero one has um, three routes that it's going to be advertising within uh, this prefix. So it's going to be advertising 123.123.123.1.2 and .3. And we'll go ahead and apply those uh, well-known communities, uh, one on each of those routes. And we'll advertise those to R1. Um, uh, AS65111 is, um, is in a uh, confederation setup. So uh, R1 and R3 are in one subconfederation, and R2 and R4 are in another subconfederation. And also we have a, uh, another external uh, AS um, that is off of R2. And we'll, um, and we'll uh, verify, uh, once we apply these communities, how, how the routes are advertised within uh, this topology. Also. Um, R1 uh, through R4 here in AS65111 are all loopback peering, and these are the uh, addresses of the loopback that we'll be using. So let's um, actually go to the devices and, and see what we're uh, what we're doing here. All right. So we'll start with um, with uh, AS65001. And it's just a, a simple BGP. Um, configuration 
and we're also exporting uh, the static routes that I've created. Uh, we haven't applied the uh, communities yet, um, but we're just uh, advertising the routes. So here's the three routes that we're going to um, that we're advertising. So we'll go to R1, and um, you can see R1 is receiving three routes from AS65001. And if we look extensively, um, we'll see that there's no community is applied yet to any of the routes. And just to verify that uh, the other devices are receiving the routes so that there's no routing issues. And R2 is also advertising um, the, uh, the routes to AS65002. And then R4 also is receiving the routes. Now if we go back to uh, AS65001, we could um, we'll, um, we'll actually apply the policy to add the communities. So these are the, uh, the policy I've created and um, and we've created the communities for no advertise, no export, and uh, no export subconfederation. And um, we'll go ahead and apply um, no um, advertise to dot one, no export to dot two, and uh, no export subconfederation to dot three. I'm just going to delete off the uh, the first uh, policy that I had. So now I'm exporting uh, the policy to adver uh, to apply those um, well-known communities. I'll go ahead and commit that. Also, if I um, I didn't mention, but all, all these devices are um, MX80s that we're using here in this uh, lab. Okay, now if we go back to R1, we'll see R1 is still receiving the three routes. Now if we take an extensive look at the routes, we'll now see the communities that are applied to the routes. Dot one has no advertise. Dot two has no export. And dot three has no export subconfederation. So with these communities, we'll, ex we'll expect that R1 will not send dot one to anybody. Um, R1 will send dot two to R3 um, and R2 and R4 and R1 will also send dot three just to R3. So let's go to R3 and R3 is just receiving dot two and dot three and we could see the communities there. No export on dot two and no export subconfederation on dot three. And if we go to R2, you could see that R2 is just receiving um, dot two that has the no export community. Take an extensive look just to. And R4 should also have just dot two. Also, if we go back to uh, R2, we'll, we'll notice that uh, we're not advertising anything to AS65002 now. Now, this is also uh, something for uh, troubleshooting. So um, if you're receiving routes and wondering why um, devices downstream aren't um, receiving those routes, uh, make sure to come to, you know, to don't forget to look for communities to make sure that there's no um, well-known communities that may be applied to a route. Um, 
So that's how how to use um, the well-known communities. Now, say for instance, um, you have no access to a device that's sending you um, routes with these communities. We'll um, we'll show you on R1 how to uh, how to remove these communities. So I created a policy on R1 to uh, delete the no export community. And we'll go ahead and um, we'll go ahead and apply that as an import policy uh, from where we're receiving that route. So now it's applied as an import policy on the uh, the group for AS sixty five zero zero one. Go ahead and commit that. So R one still receiving the same three routes. So if we do an extensive look, we'll see that. Uh, dot two no longer has any communities applied to it. So if we go to R2, R2 is still receiving the, uh, the same route and also still doesn't have the communities applied to it. So now R2 should be able to advertise that onto um, AS65002. So that concludes uh, showing you how to use uh, BGP well-known communities. For more information on uh, BGP well-known communities, um, you could um, the uh, course Juno's course AJRE um, contains uh, information on well-known communities and also the techni our technical documentation for uh, routing policy configuration guide for the various devices also contains. Thank you. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.